This is part two of a hip mobility sequence to help you unlock your hips and uncover your optimal performance. This series of exercises has helped me and many of my virtual coaching clients heal from injury and return to sports pain free. Done consistently, these exercises can help you too. If you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome. My name is Caroline and I'm a certified health and fitness coach here to teach you how to use movement as medicine. On my channel, you'll find a variety of video content to help you live your very best life. So if you're new here and haven't done so already, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so we stay connected when I upload new exercise videos that are just for you. To do this video, you'll need a pad or a pillow, something to kneel on, and you'll need to check with your doctor or physical therapist before starting this or any fitness program. Honor your body, move mindfully, and stop if you feel any pain. So if you've already hit subscribe and the notification bell and you're ready to get moving to unlock your hips and feel better, let's begin with a kneeling hip flexor stretch. This is where your pad or pillow comes in. So let's bring your right knee onto the pillow and walk your left foot in front. I want you to take this right knee and internally rotate so that you're sending the foot out and the hip is in internal rotation. From here, walk this front foot forward so that you're in a lunge. Then I want you to find a neutral pelvis position, pulling the belly in and up, tucking the tailbone, keeping the rib cage in, and chin tucked. Already, you should feel a massive stretch on the front of the hip and the groin. Good. If you can, lean a little bit more into this front leg and breathe. From here, reach your arms towards me. Take the fingertips down towards the floor. Palms press out. Shoulders down. Feel that stretch. Now, continue deep, controlled belly breaths as you maintain this neutral pelvic alignment, tailbone tucked, rib cage in, spine long, and feel the stretch. Breathe, inhale, and exhale. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Keep breathing. Stay with the stretch. Feel that deep hip flexor start to open up. Whew, it's getting tough. I hope you're breathing. Good. Release the arms. Walk in the front foot. Take a moment. Shake out the legs. See if you notice a difference between side one and side two. And let's balance that out. You're going to kneel on your mat, second side. Internally rotate the back leg. Walk the front foot forward into a lunge. Find your neutral pelvic alignment, tucking the tailbone, rib cage coming in, chin in. Lunge a little bit further forward into that front leg. Good. Reach the arms towards me, fingers down, shoulders drop. Now, you want to feel a deep stretch in the front of that hip. If you feel it more on one side, that's probably the tighter side. So hold this position and breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Good job. I want you to hold this for a few more deep, controlled breaths making sure to keep that pelvic alignment. Tailbone tucked, rib cage in. Good job. Hold it a little longer, keeping that controlled breath and pelvic tuck. One more deep breath. Let it out. Slowly release the arms. Walk the front foot in. And you can get rid of that Eric's pad. Meet me in a 90-90 stretch. So from here, 
we'll bring our self into 90-90. So we've got our hip and our knee, knee and our ankle, 90 degrees. Same thing with the back leg. Hip, knee, knee, ankle. Now, with a straight spine, I want you to cut your knee in half with your torso as you fold forward. Reaching your head outward. You don't want to round. Keep the spine long. In fact, bring a slight arch to the low back. What you should feel is an incredible stretch on the outer hip. You shouldn't feel any pinching in the front of the hip. So if you feel any pinching in the front of the hip, come out of that position. Maybe check with your doctor before you move forward with any of these exercises. You should just feel a great stretch on the outer hip piriformis, maybe into low back. Now let's hold this stretch for a few more deep breaths, maintaining a nice long spine, slight arch in the low back. Good, are you breathing? Sometimes we get down here and we stop breathing. Don't stop breathing. <laughs> Keep it going. Keep it flowing. Now from here, we're going to move into a little bit of an active stretch. What I'd like you to do is pr press your ankle and your knee into the floor. But I'd like you to press your ankle harder than you press your knee. So you're trying to press down an angle. Ready when you are. Press that ankle and knee into the floor. Ankle pushing a little bit harder than the knee. Good, press down, keep breathing. Spine is long, press harder. Good, press a little harder. Do you feel your butt working? I hope so, press harder. Good, your butt should be like, whoa, hello. I just came to the party. Your butt and your hip are active. Good, hold it there for one more big breath. Inhale, exhale, relax the contraction, hold the position, feel the stretch. Good. Now, let's do the same thing, but this time, I'd like you to push the knee harder than you push the ankle. So you're in this 90-90 position, straight spine, Press knee and ankle into the floor. Knee is pushing harder than the ankle. Push, push, push. You should feel that hip start to light up. Keep your spine strong and long. Good. Maybe you're shaking, but whatever you're doing, don't stop breathing. Inhale. And exhale. Woo! It's working. I'm breathing right there with you. Okay, and relax that contraction. Let yourself fold into that stretch a little bit deeper. Maybe you notice you gain more range of motion now. From here, slowly come up and just take a moment to windshield wiper the knees. Taking your knees back and forth, noticing what you feel. We have two more exercises on this side. So the next exercise is something called passive range liftoffs. You're going to bring your forearm onto the mat as if you're doing a side plank position. Use your abdominals to lift up and away from the floor. From here, with this nice long spine, what you'll do is you'll push your knee into the floor to lift your ankle up. Check this out. You press the knee down, ankle up, and bring it back down. Good, try that again. Press the knee down, lift the ankle. And lower it down. Let's move through a few more. Knee down, ankle up. And lower down. Two more. Knee down, ankle up. You should feel your hip working. And lower down. Last one. Knee down, ankle up. And relax. Whew. Take a moment, shake it off. Next, we're going to do a little bit of a forward fold with activation. So you're in that 90-90 one more time. Your hands can be in front of you, or you can take your hands to your sides, or if you're super crazy, you can reach your arms up in the air. I can't do that, not yet. So from here with a straight spine, you're going to hinge forward at the hips, bringing your torso forward, and then to come up, 
push your knee and your ankle into the ground to bring you up. So you're using the hip to lift you back. Let's try that again. Straight spine, come forward. Push knee and ankle into the floor to reach you back up. Woo! Again. Hinging forward. Push knee and ankle into the floor. Push, 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 and press your way up. Two more. Here we go. Bring it forward. You got it. Press the knee and the ankle down to lift you up. Last one. Bring it forward. Press. Knee and ankle into the floor. Press, 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 press. Lift and relax. Okay, shake that off. You might get a little hip adjustment there. I know this sequence of exercise always makes me feel like I've just seen the best chiropractor in the world. <laughs> Notice if you feel a difference between your right and your left. We're going to try everything on side two. So let's set up on side two, coming into that 90-90 position. So make sure, sometimes when I coach clients virtually, they don't have the awareness of their body. So do this against a mirror or just watch my, my alignment and make sure yours matches as much as you can. So hip, knee, knee, ankle, same thing backside, hip, knee, knee, ankle. This leg is usually right parallel to your arm, okay? So from here, with a straight spine, take your arms forward and cut your leg in half with your torso. Folding forward. Don't round. It's, this, is not, this is not sloppy yoga. This is active mobility. It's active. I'm sweating. It's happening. So here we're in this passive stretch. We're feeling the stretch in the outer hip. We're keeping our spine long. Our low back is arched a little bit. And just see where you get. Again, you should only be feeling the stretch in the back of the hip. Maybe other places, but just not a pinching or nervy sensation. If you feel that, that would be a bad sign. So listen to your body. Now from here, we're going to start with that active mobility. I'd like you to press the ankle and the knee into the floor, but press the ankle a little bit harder than you press the knee. Okay, here we go. Press into the floor. Ankle presses down, knee presses down. Press a little bit harder. You should feel your hips start to work. Good, press harder. Oh man, things are working. Press a little bit harder. Ankle down, knee down, spine long. Feel that hip light up. Breathe. And relax the contraction. Find that stretch. Take a deep breath. Good. Now, we do the same thing but this time you're gonna push your knee a little bit harder than you push your ankle. So, nothing lifts, you just push. Keep that spine straight. Press your knee into your floor. Press your ankle into your floor. Press the knee hard down into the ground as you take deep breaths. Press harder. Press a little harder. You can do it. A little harder. My hip is on fire. And relax. Okay. Let yourself stretch. Again, spine is long. You should maybe be a little bit more range of motion in this position. Maybe. Depending on where your body is. The body changes every day. What matters is you show up for it. Good. From here, come out of that position. Maybe windshield wiper your legs. We have two more exercises in this 90-90 position. Our third is the passive range liftoffs. So you again, find that setup, bring your forearm on the floor like you're going to do side plank. Lift up in your waist, use your lats, use your abs. From here, using the hip, you push the knee into the floor and lift your ankle up. Oh, that's hard. And lower back down. Try not to do, use everything else, use the hip. So here we go, ankle up, back down slowly, ankle up, back down slowly, good, ankle lifts, push the knee into the ground, and lower, two more, we can do it, come on, push, lift, and lower, 
Last one, push lift, hold, 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 and lower. Whew, okay, shake that up. Man, one more to go. We got this, right? This is the exercise where we come up using our hip. So we find the 90-90, we find our stretch position, hands can be in front of you, at your chest, or up in the air. From here, you're going to fold forward, and then as you lift up, you're pushing your ankle and your knee into the ground to bring you back up. Good, again, hinge forward, push knee and ankle into the floor to lift back up. Good, three more, here we go. Forward, hip and ankle, press into the ground. Good, two more, forward, Press your way up. Last one. Forward. And press up. Good job. Okay, windshield wiper the legs. So now we've unlocked the hips. Now we're going to activate the glutes. So piriformis should be feeling like it just had a party and we're gonna lay on our back for a bridge. So from here, Lay down onto your back. Bring yourself into a neutral pelvis position. So don't arch your back. Tuck your tailbone under. Ribs are in. Hands by your sides. Lift your hips up and hold a bridge. Tucking the pelvis, keeping the ribs in, and breathing. You should feel a stretch in your quads and hip flexors and a contraction in your glutes and hamstrings. Keep breathing. Think positive and hold. Get that stretch in the front body. I know we all need it. It's good. Okay, lower it down. Now, bring your right knee into your chest. Wrap your arms around it and give it a hug. From here, find that tuck of the tailbone in your supporting left leg. Lift this hip off the floor into a single leg bridge. Tailbone tucked, rib cage in, breathe, hold. You should feel your butt and your hamstring. You should not feel your low back. You should be breathing. If you feel your low back, you're probably too high in the bridge. Come down. Good. Hold that position. Hold, hold, hold. You should be shaking. Do you see how I'm shaking? Shaking is happening. And lower it down. Good, switch sides. So. Right foot comes to the floor, left leg comes in. You're going to bring that knee in towards your chest. Tuck your pel tel pelvis, pelvic tuck. When you're ready, rib cage in, lift up. Press through the foot, activate the glutes. Keep the posterior pelvic tuck. Feel that butt and hamstring. Feel it start to work. This is when I realized that I wore very short running shorts for this video on accident. Don't worry though, they're it, hopefully you can't see anything. <laughs> okay, keep that pelvic tuck. Breathe. Shaking is happening. Good things. Okay, lower down. Both feet down. Again, find that posterior pelvic tuck so you can go into arching your back and then tucking your pelvis. Rib cage in. Lift your hips up. Hold. Feel that stretch. Breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Lower down. Bring your knees to your sides. And slowly come up. Let's try one more hip flexor stretch using your pillow or your pad. So again, grab the pillow or the pad. Bring one knee on the pillow or the pad and the other leg off. Find that posterior pelvic tilt, tailbone tucked, rib cage in. Lean into this front leg, feel the hip flexor stretch, and just as we did in the beginning of this video, reach your fingers forward, palms down, shoulders drop. Breathe. Maybe you notice a difference. When I was first recovering from piriformis injury, I did this sequence every single day before activity. And it was amazing because it opened up my hips, 
and then activated my glutes and allowed me to move into exercise with all the right places ready and raring to go. So I hope this does that for you too. Lower the hands down, walk this leg back in, switch sides. So other knee goes on the pad, other leg comes out into that Captain Morgan position. Scoop the tummy in, tailbone tucked, ribs in, reach your arms forward, the palms facing down. Shoulders drop away from the ears and you're breathing. Inhale and exhale. Good, feeling that stretch on the front of the hip, feeling everything open for you. Remember, the older we get, we have to be smarter about how we prepare for exercise. When you're 18, you can just go run around and nothing matters. But you know, when you get older, you have to properly warm up, properly work out, and then properly warm down from exercise so that you can keep exercising for the rest of your life. Good, lower those arms down, come out of that stretch, and relax. So tell me, how do you feel? This was a hip mobility sequence that involved active exercises to help you unlock your hips so that you can uncover optimal performance. I hope you enjoyed the sequence and I hope it's a video that you can use over and over again to heal from injury, prevent injury, or just train fabulously. Now I want to hear from you. Leave me a comment below and tell me how you feel after doing this routine consistently. If you love it, share it with someone who you also feel could benefit. Thank you so much for tuning into this video and for liking and subscribing this to this channel. I'm Caroline Jordan and I'll see you again soon at carolinejordanfitness.com.